Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video I'm gonna be doing another Q&A video where I take your Grand Theft Auto 5 questions from Twitter and I answer them all in this video so if you want to get involved in the next Q&A video and actually have your question featured, what you want to do is go in the description, follow me on Twitter. I announce there probably once or twice a week when I do these Q&A videos and you can get featured in the next one. Today we're going to be talking about a lot of things like the recent DLC that Rockstar actually teased and also some of their newest policies and upcoming content coming to Grand Theft Auto Online. Anyways, let's get the video started. So as I always do with the first question, I'm going to extend it to you guys. So right now in the comment section, I want you to reply to this question from Zach Himani. And he says, what real life car would you like to see in Grand Theft Auto? I get this question a lot. So every now and then I like to uh, reintroduce it into my Q&A series. And there's one in particular that I kind of like. And it's more of like an experimental car for Rockstar. And it would be like a four door super slash sports car. And it's actually the Porsche Panamera, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'll put an image on the screen right now of what it looks like it's basically a four-door Porsche and it's it's a little bigger than the two-door variant which would obviously be in Grand Theft Auto 5 right now uh, which is the Comet but I think this would be a really cool look obviously you could fit three of your friends in there which would be great I'm sure a lot of you guys also have some cool suggestions for maybe some epic supercars maybe modeled after Ferraris or McLaren so I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section but honestly I'd like to see a four-door sportsy supercar make its way into the mix of GTA 5 I think that would be epic. Our next question comes from Steve Ladd 87 and he says, what are your thoughts on this Rockstar policy regarding glitches? If you guys don't know or didn't happen to catch my videos that I did a few other days ago or look at the Rockstar Newswire, basically Rockstar is going to be clamping down and shutting down money glitches, RP glitches, and game breaking glitches on YouTube. So basically they're going to be striking those videos down, which I explained earlier is no like walk in the park. You do not want to strike on your YouTube channel. It's really bad. It can lead to suspensions and account terminations, which obviously you never want. So it looks like Rockstar is going to be trying to do their best to remove them. And honestly, it's what they want to do. It's Rockstar's game. They have a right to really do whatever they want in terms of the content that they want to see on YouTube. But I don't know. I think cleaning up the game is always nice. And I think that some videos are a little ridiculous, making money glitch after money glitch after money glitch. But I don't really have an opinion. It's Rockstar's policy. I don't upload money glitches on my channel or game breaking glitches, so it doesn't affect me. So it's something I don't have to worry about, but I know there's a good portion of the GTA community that is going to have to worry about that. So we'll just have to see how it plays out and how Rockstar ends up implementing this new system of theirs. Mexican Hulk says, would you like to see future DLCs get armored adders and armored Zentornos, sort of like the armored Karuma? I do think that would be a pretty cool addition to the Los Santos custom shop. I don't know how Rockstar would work that out. As of now, they've only done two vehicles with armor. One of them is the Duke of Death, which is currently not in Grand Theft Auto Online. And another one is the armored Karuma, which of course came with the heist update. And I don't know about armoring supercars, because when you put armor on supercars, they become really heavy obviously slowing them down which is something that these sports and supercars are supposed to do very well which is go extremely fast and perform well in races although I think it would be pretty cool to have an armored ability to maybe add to the Los Santos custom shop as you guys know when you add like a spoiler to a car it gives better traction so maybe there's like an armored part of the Los Santos custom shop and if you were to apply this armor to your vehicle it would maybe take away a small bit of top speed and acceleration it's kind of like a fair trade-off and balance I don't know let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section about adding armor to vehicles would it be too overpowered would you like it let me know our next question comes from Ryan and he says do you think Rockstar will ever add a tuner DLC a lot of people in the Grand Theft Auto car scene are waiting for one very similar to the hipster DLC and yeah I think that would be great I thought that the hipster DLC was one of the best Grand Theft Auto Online content updates that Rockstar added, mainly because it had seven pretty awesome cars. I mean, I think the Dubsta 6x6 was in there, the Panto, the Warner, the Vulcan, lots of great vehicles, and I love that in DLCs. And I think a tuner style update would be awesome, more like Ricer Racer cars and a tuner update, more neon updates. I think that'd be really cool. I think it would be uh, a much needed DLC. Obviously, with the recent one that Rockstar's kind of tweeted out and talked about on their newswire, I don't know if that's like the next DLC. DLC, but it certainly would be a, a not bad idea as far as content to be added in Grand Theft Auto Online. 
Monica says, what kind of weapons do you want to see in future DLCs? I'm honestly getting tired of melee weapons and pistols. And I know Rockstar uh, hinted at that in a photo they released yesterday. I'll have it on the screen right now. So you can check that out and also one of the new vehicles they touched on. But yeah, I'm getting tired of pistols and melee weapons. It seems like every DLC has one of those. I'm ready to get some, I guess, big boy weapons, whether it be like explosives or rocket launchers or machine guns or assault rifles. You know, I'm ready to armor up and I'm tired of pistols and uh, melee weapons. And those are fun for a while. But, you know, after we have like eight pistols and eight different melee weapons, I think it's time for a change. And our last question comes from Derek Jarrell, and he says, what do you think the upcoming DLC is going to be? We don't have a lot of information, but Rockstar said on their Newswire, there's going to be lots of different, and they use the word toys, that we're going to be able to buy. And when I think of toys in Grand Theft Auto Online, I obviously think of cars, weapons, new clothing. Again, I'll put the image on the screen. This is the car that they showed off. It's the benefit. It's a benefactor car, which means it's the real life equivalent of a Mercedes. Looks like a Mercedes SL series. I don't know. I'm not a huge car guy. I'm sure you can let me know in the comment section what that actually is. But yeah, I'm excited. I think it's going to be cool. And I think it's going to be an awesome update. It's been a long time since we've had one in Grand Theft Auto Online, and I'm pretty excited. Anyways, that's all the questions I'm going to be answering today. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this Q&A video. Once again, if you want to get involved in the next one, follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description. And of course, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Grand Theft Auto 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.